Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rada, or you can call me Oya if you like. My content is around fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. If that is something that interests you, please consider subscribing. Um, today is on Monday. Quickly stepping out. As always, I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. Um, at least today I'm letting the hair down. Let me let your hair down. <laughs> let me run my fingers through. Anyway, yeah, so I've sort of like added this. I don't know what are these called it's air clip yeah this air clip over here and can we can i get a little commotion for my earrings um i was gifted this by my bestie thanks babe <laughs> they're so cute anyway my hair is sister locks um in case you're interested i will leave the contacts of the lady who did it i love it i love 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 it i've been getting a lot of questions about the braid i honestly cannot remember the braid i am guessing it's gypsy but I'm not sure. But I'm sure if you go to the salon and you tell them that you want artificial sister locks, they definitely know the braid to use, right? Anyway, the color is 230, at least that I can remember. Um, <clears throat> sense of the day, I've put this all over my body, is In the Stars by Bath and Body Works and the Body Mist. Um, good, so, so, so good. I love, I love this combination. And when you put them together, they tend to last longer. You can get this from Intimate Kenya. <laughs> Then uh, my scent of the day is this one, Liba by YSL. This thing smells so good. Like, it's worth the hype. The hype that this scent got, I believe it's worth that hype. It's a, it's a really good long-lasting scent. And just, just this feminine, sophisticated, classy scent. Yeah. I think you can get it locally from um, Sierra Perfumes. And yeah, I will insert my outfit of the day here. I'm just very... This um, palazzo pants, um, can't see it, but I'll insert it here. I'm on my way to, um, today is on Monday, I, th I think I said that, so errands day. Drop the packages. Um, there's a shop that I want to visit. It's in uh, Gigiri, UN. But I'm going to take you guys along with me, actually. That's, I think that will be my main reason for vlogging, because I don't have a lot um, planned for the day, because my son is not feeling well. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this flu, this flu uh, is really, it's, it has really done a number on me. Like it's, it's bad, bad, bad. So I want to go fast so that I can come back in time and relieve the nanny because I know when he's sick, he tends to be, I think all kids are like that. They tend to be a little bit clingy. So yeah, that's why I don't want to like super commit the day. So yeah, let me get going and then I'll see you guys. Oh, this bag. Eh. Majority of you are asking for the contacts of the guy that um, <clears throat> I got the bag from. Now, um, when I go back to the market, I'll try to get the contact. But the thing is, there's a catch. It does not always have these bags. See, you know, I'm too It's just um, when he gets them, which it might take a while for him to get like a similar bag or a designer bag because he just sells bags in general. And But anyway, I'll give you... I'll ask him for his number and then I can share. But I also know Luxury Thrift KE. Um, you can ask her to source for you the bags, the designer bags, the ones that you want, and then she can tell you what she can get and what she can't. Uh, but that one, I think she's she gets them more than this guy. So also check them out on Instagram. She's the lady that sells the designer scarf. She also deals with bags as well, designer bags as well. So yeah. I hope that has answered your question. So yeah, let me get going, guys. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> so this is the shop I was telling you guys about. It's such a cute, cute shop. They are located at Gigiri Box Square. And yeah, they deal with all things ladies. <laughs> they have like sunglasses. They have... um bags they have accessories like you can see you can see i tried to capture as much as i could so that you can just see the cute like extremely cute and quality stuff that they have uh, yeah just stick around um and see the different things that they have
decked out and I'm rolling. Mulling out, no controlling. DNA ain't no hoeing. Jumping deep, never put no toe in. Stepped out and I'm growing. I decided to try out like the different um sunglasses they have so that you can see how they look on me. Check it dame. <laughs> Check it dame. I like like I love their collection. Their collection is so so nice. Um I'll leave their Instagram page linked on the description bar. Please check them out and get yourself a pair or two. quality of their bags is unmatched unmatched um they i believe they get their bags from turkey um this particular one like that bag is such such good quality and it's available in different colors you'll see um as we go through the video and yeah i really like the collection honestly the bags everything like everything in that store is just good quality and all that so yeah It's been a while since I've seen your face How you been? I'll admit I really miss this place Just so you know you haven't been replaced Cause I still think of you now like nothing has changed And we just can't deny Our hearts are beating time We're both still synchronized Whoa. And we can't let them lie In between you and I There's always love we hide But it's always been you It's always, it's always we are going to Mombasa look no further <laughs> the collection of the hats is also good and these are the other colors guys I was telling you about I believe this green this brown um yeah and they're all like they're so cute and the quality is really really nice And there's this other one for my office babes. Ah, this bag. This bag get my entire heart. It's so cute. Like, I was just, um, can see you girl carrying this to the office. They have it, um, you can see the compartment. It has like different compartments and it has like a wallet. Comes with a wallet as well. Again, me, I'm, I'm still going to insist on the quality. Then it, they, they, it comes in different colors. There's this red, there's brown. I believe there's a gray. Yeah. But I tried to capture as much as I could. Of course, I could not film the whole store, but I believe you can, you have like a glimpse of what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Also, do stock earrings or jewelry in general, but I loved their collection of the earrings, especially these ones, because these ones are the ones that don't fade. I was just trying to show you, like, just samples, just a few of them, but you can check out their Instagram page. I'm sure they have posted more and you'll be able to see clearly, but I really, really love the quality on this. I tried out some, like these hoops. Just look at that. Look at that. I really love this one. It was so good and light. Even for the babes that wouldn't like big earrings, they also have like the small earrings like these ones. They do have bracelets. They have rings. They have like a lot, a lot. Just check out their Instagram page and I promise you won't be disappointed. Yeah. For the people who love small earrings and studs, just look at that. Like their collection, it's quite, quite nice. Quite nice. Hi guys, um, today is on Saturday and um, I wanted to show you my simple makeup routine because it's the same thing that I do every day. <laughs> and um, a couple of people 
have requested that I show you. And I figured since this week by the this week, eh, because of the demonstrations, I've just been a homebody. So it was either I don't have a video tomorrow, but then I just said maybe I might as well show you or do my makeup. So yeah, so here we are. <laughs> so they are faced. The first thing I'll be telling you the products that I'll be using and I'll tag the pages where you can get them. Yeah, because see mob. Kidogo sana like I just I don't use a lot of products but anyway the first thing that I go in with is this sweat block. Um it's from I think the page is called Zikel, but again I'll leave it linked here. You can check it out on Instagram. This one is only for people with oily skin. My my skin is oily, especially around the T zone. So this is this sort of creates a barrier between the sweat and the makeup. <laughs> like it just makes you not as the name suggests, it's a sweat block. Well, I'll, I'll try not talk too much, but I go in with a sponge. Just need a little. Then I dab, dab, dab. Especially where I know my face tends to get oily. So yeah, dab, 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 dab. I'd already moisturize and put on sunscreen on my face so I'm just going straight in with uh, with the makeup so yeah that's the first step mm -hmm. then the second one is I go in with this primer this is a primer that I use um, this one is from Zaron it's the Oil block mattifier again, uh, oily skin. I got this from Miniso, but I believe you can get it from Super Cosmetics as well. So you shake. It looks like milk. See, looks like milk, but it's very mattifying. But I believe they have, they have like other primers for people with, for people who don't have oily skin, or rather for other skin types. That's it. That's it. <laughs> then next, I go straight to foundation. This one, um, I've been loving the Uda Beauty, the Holy Grail 24 Hours Flawless Foundation as SPF 15. My shade is MD 27. That looks. Um, I can you see that? Can you see that matte effect already on my skin? So yeah, that primer really. Does that combined with um with um sweat block? So I just take that amount and then you want to swipe, swipe, swipe. I saw I saw Michelle, um, the makeup artist, say that swiping tends to make the the products or rather the foundation apply evenly. So yeah, instead of you swipe, believe <laughs> you get that in me. I'm not even uh not a guru, guys. I'm just showing you what works for me. Did you see how that um this foundation from Huda, this one from Huda, that it has like um a really good coverage. Just look at that, and they're just that's like the first pump that I used, or rather, I did like three pumps, I guess. But yeah, can you see that coverage? Huda hmm? really did the thing, so after, I, I use both. I use a sponge and a brush, foundation brush. I'd already, um, I wet this with water. Don't use when it's dry. This one, it's easier to use when it's, um, when it's wet so yeah i just like using both so yeah that's the first thing the next thing that i do are my eyebrows again guys 
Uh, like I always tell you, like I have like really thick eyebrows. My eyebrows are not microbladed or shaded or anything. These are just my natural <laughs> brows. And these ones are they're like quite bushy. You should see them when they have not been shaped like Zinagwanzimejaapa. So yeah. So first I using the Fit Me powder just to um. It's easier for me again i have oily skin it's easier when i go in with the powder first just to mattify the area so like that then go in with a spoolie this uh, this one i'll have to use a mirror <laughs> this mirror is dirty okay let me try this yeah so first you have to brush through your brows like so then i use a davis pencil this one is number 40. number 40 seems like um like the brown i find it to be more natural looking but yeah you can find the davis pencil that works for you but i really like this one so what i do i'm just going to do like one brow and then the other i'll just do off camera so that you can save time so i take this and uh, i go below like that and then um here on apple that is where your brow should naturally stop like apple this this is this line over here there then i go on top i'm just mapping out like the brow You see just mapping it out and then i'll just fill in with light strokes i don't touch this part per se so i measure on this part this outer corner Either. like that see the difference so this is that and then this this one and then um filming this makeup thing is hard you take the spoolie again and just brush through the nini so that they can have like that natural finish mostly up iv so the next thing that I, I do just to make them look more natural i use again a spoolie and uh, this got to be glue this one is the got to be glue i haven't got a measure but I just use it for the brows but you can use any other gel this one is a go-to-be glue gel go-to-be gel what am i saying you just gives it like that brush effect like you come on crochet dama ume micro blade on a budget <laughs> yeah i need me a You use kidogo, kidogo sana. <laughs> Not sure if you can see the difference. Yeah, like that. So then, then then after that we clean the brows. I use a concealer. This is the illegal pro concealer. I use the shade fawn and a flat brush. This one that I use, yeah. You have to make sure that you're using a flat brush so just take a little bit of that of the concealer just um make sure the concealer is one shade lighter than your skin tone yeah yeah like that see like that just clean below to make it have like that clean look um, then you blend in the rest i don't put like concealer for the upper part i just go with a brush as is um just to clean on top as well like so mm. 
then I spread the rest of the concealer for the eyelid because it will help with the um, eyeshadow. So that how is this so dark? See? Yeah. So let me do this other one off camera, then I come back. Okay, done with the brows. As you always equal twin sisters, but cousins, little cousins. That close enough. That's enough relationship. So yeah, so the next thing that I do, I know most people start with the eyes and then they go to the foundation. Me, I do the opposite because it, I don't know. You and only Liji Funzanayo and it's stuck and I can't seem to do the opposite. <laughs> so, um, eyeshadow. This is the Kapale that I'll be using. Um, I showed you this in my last vlog. It's the Smokey from this company. For Kalu. I believe it's a French word anyway. Yeah, but I got it. I got this from Miniso. Actually, I checked it was 690 so it's pretty affordable. And they have different shades. Like, if you like bright colors, they got you. But me, I like this. Okay. <clears throat> this is like a brush that it comes with, but I don't use it. But yeah. Those are the colors. So the first thing that I'll be using, first you have to have a, this brush, this one. It's a fluffy brush and you want to go in with the transition shade. So my transition shade is this one. It's supposed to be like a matte color. Again, I'll have to use my mirror. So I think I'll do one eye as I did and then, yeah, this one. So you go in with the transition color. It's the base for your foundation. Okay. I promise you expect technical terms. I graduated from the school of YouTube. I'm not, I'm a self-taught like applier. Mm -hmm. So don't expect a lot of technical terms. Don't expect a lot of, um, if you see me doing something wrong, we ignore too. This is what works for me. So yeah, like that. Uh, just forming the base make sure you blend 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 um i believe blending is the main thing in makeup application so that's the base um the second um i like all these colors that are here so depending on what i want i'll pick one so this today i feel like putting on this it's a bit darker than the rest but it's still in the class of browns so again with a brush um since i'm going for like a very simple look another fluffy brush then i just apply that to the lower to the lower part of my lid not even sure this makeup can be seen but <laughs> again i just like my eyes like extremely simple simple kabisa but yeah you get that? I just like like that kashima. Ako kashima kubali. Then lastly, I'll just mock out the outer part with the darker shade with the black. Kidogo too. Um like that. Are you guessing it? Are you guessing the difference? I'm not sure, but I can see it in this mirror. So yeah. That's it. That's how I smoke out the eye. Don't I'm not sure you can tell the difference between this eye and this eye, but let me close, maybe you can. Yeah, this has this does not have. So yeah. So yeah, that's all I do for my shadow. Let me do the other eye and then um I'll also do my lashes. Because I don't think I can show how I put those on screen. Honestly, it's a struggle. But these are the lashes that I use. I'll leave the page linked. They are like really natural looking and they're not in your face. Anyway, let me wear them and then I'll leave everything linked. Um, so yeah, I'll be back. Lashes done. Anyway, so these are the lashes. As I was saying, these are the lashes that I use. Can you see them? It's like... They have like a cut eye design. They are small, shorter here, and then they go like that. And there are those ones that are curly, like this. So I get this from a page called Tots. Tots something. I will write it on the screen. This pack has like how many pairs? Ten pairs, and it goes for a thousand bob. 
one pair you can wear up to five times so i think that's a value for money i've had this for a while so that's what i use and uh, for the lash glue i use zaron i really love i love I love this lash glue number one because it's gel it's not liquid it's not like that one that is liquid that will just um like okay paka vibaya in a like it will how do i put it like it it can like transfer on your eyeshadow this one is gel so it will transfer and it holds this thing holds so i got this again from miniso i got the same day i got this but you can get it at super cosmetics as well i believe they stock the zaron products can't remember i think it was 700 bob this one i think was 1700 and it's a lot 80 ml i kid you not i've had i've used this for such a long time man eco somewhere up so again value for your money so yeah i could not show you how to put the lashes because today but you can check out like makeup artists like michelle's page i believe she has a video for how you can put on your false lashes so yeah, that's done. The next thing that I do, we're almost done. Fanyang give it to mom. I'll conceal uku and then just to clean uku 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 using the same concealer, the LA Pro. I get mine from Beauty Bar. Beauty Bar Kenya. I leave again. I leave everything linked in the description bar. In case you're interested, you can check. One goes for five hundred bob. This kind of thing. And again, it says it says for a while. So yeah. I just apply like so and then here and then here and then here like that Mm -mm. Then this one I go in with the beauty blender, the same one that I was using. Mm. I just press it in like that. And then And I'll go in with um, powder. I can either yeah, I can either use this. The, this is the Fit Me Maybelline in the shade 350 Caramel. I can use that. Or I use this. Just depends with my mood. This one is NYX NYX. The Finishing Studio Photogenic Studio something. Powder. Finishing powder. So yeah, that's how it looks. This one I got from Alta Beauty. I shipped it in with my friend. I recently got this from Mini. So how cute are these? These are like the cutest. I've been looking for this type of sponges. They call sponges, and I got this from Mini. So it was three hundred and something. Ah, they feel so good. There are these ones that look like this, and then they have like a cutting for holding. I've been seeing like people have them, and I wanted them. You see, for my like my under eye. So this one for Mini. So comes in two. I love this. It has two inside and then it has like a case for carrying yours or for storing yours. Like so. How nice. So it comes with two. Got this in purple. They are 300 and something. I really love this. So yeah. Let me do that. I don't know. Should I use this or the other one? Confused. 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 This one is color white but... It doesn't and then for the rest of the face I was just setting the concealer I'll use now the Maybelline I like using these two sponges. The ones that come with a... It's like a sponge that comes with a thing, this thing. You can use a brush, but personally I just prefer using the sponge. I feel like it applies better. 
the, what do you guys think ab about this manda manos personally i don't like them i don't like them at all as a business owner like i've really lost a lot this week because i was not even able to do a lot so it's quite unfortunate i know i know people um the mandamano it's okay but the distraction is not okay but i also don't think anyway, let me not talk about politics let me just stay clear stay clear of that topic it's a very sensitive topic that i don't like engaging in but yeah so yeah i'm not sure what to do next thing that i do is contour i use this contour palette this one i also got from beauty bar but i've had this for years 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 but this it's called it's the r true complexion contour palette um if you're an if you're an oily skin babe it's advisable that you use the powder contours as opposed to the cream because the more you add cream and your face is really yeah get the gist so i go hmm hmm Okay, let me show you. Mm, that? On oh, my other side. Can you see that? It creates like an illusion. You're just bringing color to your face because again, it looks just blunt. You see the difference between this and this? Can you see? Can you see? Okay, so you repeat the same process on this side. You have to make that face so that you know where. Because <laughs> it's supposed to go below your cheekbone. Then I do the same for below and on my airline. I like applying here. Number one, it'll just it'll help define this place, but it also like it'll sort of not um like it'll clear that foundation looking feel between your face and your neck. Because I don't like applying foundation on my neck. To be very honest, I just don't like <sighs> So this helps. And then the hairline as well, just to add that ash line, that foundation ash line um, between your hair and the foundation. I hope this video is gonna make sense. <laughs> Does it make sense? Then I also do the same for my sort of contour my nose and the height. Like that and then to seal all those powders in stop looking like nikama to meji pakaunga go in with a setting spray a setting spray is very important if you use makeup this one is the maybelline um lasting fix it says it's matte it's a fat matte finish 16 hour you can get this from jumia <coughs> sorry i spray a lot so so 
so yeah nibbling till dry down you apply highlight i don't um this is the perfect time like this to do here and here but i don't Maybe today we can try because I have it here. They have a brush. I don't like I I um I don't like highlighting anything because of my oily skin. It 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 to place the glow to on its own. <laughs> but yeah, if you like highlighting, highlighting this is the perfect time to do it. But personally, as you can see, when my highlight remains attached. But yeah. Um, then I now do my lower and lipstick, and that's it, guys. That's it. That's it. I can eat pencil yango in a katika. So, let me look for another one. So, I've used this kajal. It's a kajal. I think they're called kajals. This katin I got from the boys. That's how it looks inside. Um, I think it's mostly used by Muslims. It's very dark, but it's going for 50 bob. I got this from Dubois. That's what I've used on my lower lash line. And then for for mascaras, I alternate between these two Maybelline. This one is the Colossal Black, and then this one is the Sky High. These two. But any Maybelline mascara is really nice. I've also used on my lower lash line. And lastly, lastly, first I always go back with this. Yeah, make sure everything is can you see how can you see how flawless it looks anyway don't know why i've shot it yeah lastly mm, lipstick today i'm wearing joanna k cosmetics kama kawaida i really like this lipstick although some people say it's a bit mattifying on them i love any me love matte lipstick so this one is in the shade lemuro it's like a dark maroon it's not brown it's not brown per se it's a dark maroon i believe yeah so lipstick i don't like my lips just cool And that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's my simple makeup routine. I hope you learned a thing or two. It's not very. Is it complicated? Maybe let me know in the comment section below if it's if you find it complicated or easy. Personally, I find it easy. Maybe it's because I'm used to it, but I don't think I use a lot of complicated product. Or do I? I don't know. But yeah, so yeah, so I think I'm gonna change, wear something else, and then um, we can go on from there. But yeah, I love how it turned out. I love this lipstick. I love Joanna K Cosmetics lipsticks, guys, so much, so much, so much, so much. I love how the makeup turned out. I, I feel like it's very laid back. I a mambo mode, there's nothing much going on, and that's how I love my makeup. So yeah, let me change and then uh, yeah, let me change and then now we can talk. So so guys, I'm done. I'm done dressing up. I added this kitamba. There's somebody was saying that they have never seen me with a colored one. They always see me with plain ones. So here you go. <laughs> anyway, I think it sort of goes nicely with the outfit that I'm wearing, which I'll show you. Um yeah, it's this top and mom jeans, but again I will start like a better nini here so dull where's her pretty just a minute yeah i think it's better so um just remembered i got this um atomizer atomizer from miniso this one i also got i i had like a previous one these ones are the two things where you can like you can decant your perfume and then you can be able to carry instead of carrying like the whole bottle you decant into this so i needed another one i got this from miniso and also this from them i'm not sure if it's the same 
a male. I, I don't even know how many males this is because it's not written anywhere and I sort of misplaced. But anyway, they were they go for 300 and something, I think 359, which is a really good price. But this one, this one came like this, but this one I can see it's looking different. Um, it comes with this kind of thing. I believe it's for or what is this looks like a dropper you know it comes like with that just a minute i pick a call so guys i will show you new how now i've realized like these two are quite different let me first show you how this the first one looks because i'd already like dismantled it trying to look for a way so these are the second one looks right and these are the first one looks now the difference between which I prefer this one by the way it's because this one you can get you can suck in the perfume through this bottom part but this one hey <laughs> this one i've not yet figured out how to use this kind of thing i'm assuming this is the magic tool but ni machine ni me google ni machine but this is how the canini comes like so what i've done i just open here like I'm just gonna do it manually of course you already know the perfume that i'm putting here because i want to be carrying it around i really love this scent this one is ellie sub royal in case you're new here and you've not seen it this is it so i'm just doing it manually that's pretty too by the way although the other the other one was quite simple to use i think i'll show you when the fragrance that is inside is done but yeah Basically, that's how you do it, but you're getting the perfume in here. So yeah, you can get these containers from many so Anyway, so yeah, um, so today is on Saturday. Um, going out, obviously, could not do all this makeup for nothing. Um, we're going to, I'm going to visit Shaz. We're going with Mix, um, Shaz and Tell. I'm sure if you listen to me and you like good content, I'm sure you already know who Shaz and Tell is. She has a YouTube channel. Mix also has a YouTube channel. But yeah, I will leave all their channels linked below. We are going to share this place. She does not stay far away from where I stay. So I think I should be there in the next 30. So yeah, let me show you my... What am I wearing? Because I'm not wearing this fragrance. Let me show you the fragrance that I'm wearing. <sighs> so yeah, is it dark? Need to brighten up a little bit. A little bit. So yeah, this is the scent that I'll be wearing. Um, Love and Two. This one. I still don't know how to pronounce the name correctly, but I got this from Sierra Perfumes. You can check it out. It's really, really nice and long lasting. So yeah, that's my scent of the day. Um, is there anything else? I'll show you my full fit again. I will insert it over here. So yeah, I want to, right now I want to pass by the supermarket, get something. Again, you don't know, you don't go to people's house empty handed. Please don't do that. Our parents taught us better. I'm sure it's every parent. I'm sure it's every parent. Here now I'm waiting to convince was as we wait to our dangi mali bila mkate maziwa those those basic things anyway I want to pass by this market I hope I'll get some good flowers and something small check for shares and yeah so that you can get going so I got another scarf from Luxury Thrift KE this one is an LV one it's a love tone <laughs> again I told you guys there she, she their ninis are like she thrifts um luxury from the major design designer houses um so yeah i'm sure you can you can see like the katagia yeah, it's a uh, louis v and these are it looks this one as like these are like shades of red and uh, maroon these are it looks and it has like some frills over here this one is quite warm and uh and the feel the feel is quite nice again check luxury thrift ke for all your luxury thrift um um literally scarves and bags she's the same lady i was telling you you can request like a bag like this one and she'll get you one um depending on the availability again you know again you want these so you can you might not exactly get the exact thing that i have but there's also a, a possibility that she can source for you and if she gets you can be lucky but i really love this scarf um can't wait to rock it with my red outfits or something but yeah luxury thrift ke check them out so just look at these nails from turi they are still intact and it's a month later a month later guys 
worth every coin. Check out Trady Nails Parlor or Kotika Road and give them all your coins. As in, just look at that. And the red is still intact. Can you see? The red is still ready. Love it. Uh-uh. <laughs> What's on your initial food? Yeah, but okay. <laughs> Show your face. Be proud of your food. <laughs> Can this guy no go in here? Na kuaku. Na kuaku na kulanga. Let me tell you guys. If it's not like this. Do not invite me yeah. <laughs> if it's not like this. <laughs> Don't. Would you rather? So turn then away. Then you go to the next one. Okay. Um, would you rather always have to tell the truth or always have to lie? Do you have to explain? No. Just say would you rather? Always have to lie. Yes. Always have to say the truth. Or always have to lie. I don't have to explain. Mm -mm. Always to us. All right. Yeah. Never be able to speak again or have to say everything on your mind. Never have to be able to speak again. Mm -hmm. Everything on my mind because I would hurt myself. Okay. okay. No, you can do. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You told us no explanation. No, she can't. She can't if she wants. Cindy, yeah, I'll say everything. Oh, it's only that applies to her. No. No, even you. <laughs> okay, why would you? Yeah. My love, why would you never? I have to be able to speak again. Because some people are all up in your business, so I just rather lie. Because. You know, just to get them out of your face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd say the truth because I don't want to explain why I think that's yes. yeah. yeah. Okay. Be allowed to wash your hair only once a year or be forced to wear wet socks. Wet for the rest of your life. Ah, wash my hair once a year. Same. <laughs> it goes once the same. My husband will die. We cannot die of smelling my hair. Oh, yeah. Okay. Stinking. Stinking. No one has ever died of stinking hair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Be in the real life version mm -hmm. of The Walking Dead mm -hmm. or be in the real life version of. Just decided to do the outro as well because I know I will not do it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for always coming back. I don't take you guys for granted. I really, really appreciate and I love you guys from the deepest part of my soul. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Like, share, comment, and all those good things. If you haven't subscribed and you like my type of content, please join the family. We are on the road to 14,000. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Take care of yourselves. Um, spread love and kindness like confetti. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to the next person next to you. You never know what someone is going through. That is always my thought. Like every time that I miss someone, I always try and extend some kindness because you never know what someone is going through. And you might be the only positive thing that will happen to them during that time. So be kind. Speak to each other kindly to each other. Treat each other with kindness and yeah, extend each other some grace. And also don't forget to extend the same to you. Alright? Anyway, I'll see you in my next one. Until next time, take care of yourself. Bye.